G'day guys, how are you? And welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can replace the characters on a console window with asterisks. So this is pretty good if you want to like mask a password or something like that. So let's begin. So the very first thing you want to do is you want to import or go to using system security. And then what we're going to do is we're going to create a function or a static void or static uh, secure string in our situation. And we're just going to say private static secure string mask input. So I'm just going to call it this. It depends on what you want to call your function. Um, in my case, I'm just calling it mask input. Of course, because it is a secure string, we need to return a secure string value. Um, but what about that later on? So secure string pass equals new secure string. And then console key info, console, oh, sorry, key info. So this is basically what's going to um, help us register what keys are being pressed. And then, of course, we're just going to write a little message there into your password, okay, just to make it look a little bit neater for the user. And so now the real firm begins. So we're going to start off by doing a do loop. So if you haven't done a do loop before, um, here's a good time to learn. So do key info equals console dot read key true. So we're going to incept it. And then if not key or character dot is control so if it's not the control key and we need to put in like what key exactly so where it's getting the key from so we're going to put key info dot key character then pass dot append character and we're going to put in there of course the key info so it's going to add the key that's pressed to the pass array if you will it's kind of like a string builder and then instead of writing that to the console we're just going to write asterisks for each of those that are added to that array and now while so this is how we kind of break out the loop so while while key info dot key is not equal console key dot enter so until they press enter then it's not going to exit the loop but as soon as they press enter then we're going to return the password so what we need to do now to access this function is we're just going to put up the mask info there and look at that i'm writing in some keys now on the keyboard and instead of putting the actual text there it's putting asterisks there cool so we're nearly there so now we need to do is if we're going to do a backspace so if else if key info dot key is equal to console key dot backspace and also pass dot length is longer than one because we don't want to do a backspace if the password length is not longer than one because it'll just be a crash program. Pass to remove that past length negative one. So this is basically going to remove the last of the length minus one from the array and then so we can get rid of it off our console we're just going to do a backslash backslash b and b. Um, this will obviously take away the last key from the console so as you can see when I press delete now the asterisks go away before they weren't but now they are. So let's just say for some odd reason that you do indeed want to view the asterisk string. So what the user has put in, perhaps you want to log into a database and you don't want to have asterisks there, but you still need to sort of make sense of what they're writing in there or, or something like that. I don't really know. So as you can see there, we do var um, pass. It still allows me to access that function. I should be using a uh, secure string. So we're going to write secure string there, bit of a tongue twister there, just to sort of make it look a bit neater. And then we're going to say string password equals system.net.network credentials. And in here we're just going to put string empty and password. Now I made a mistake here, but nevertheless um, I do get the job done. What I was supposedly should have done, what I should have done originally, is I should have just put new there. And then I would have had access to the password just there like that. So it would have gone there. And I'm just going to change this back to a string. Once again, just make it a lot neater. I don't usually, usually like using var, but I do it when um, when need be, of course. But um, if I cannot do that and just use a type rather than a var object, then it's so much better. So then we're just going to write the password to the console and just make it look a lot more neater again. We're just going to do console write a line and put a comment there called space. So here we go. I'm now going to type in my secret message to you guys. And when I press enter, that was what the message was, coding with Andrew. So there you go, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did like it, leave a thumbs up on the video. Subscribe if you haven't, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.